Right, I'm up to Cannon Hall today. <coughs> uh, I used to have my son down there when he was little in an animal farm down there. I used to buy bags of food and feed the little baby goats and things like that. But I'm not going to the animal farm. <laughs> going to uh, walk around. I don't even have a route planned. I'm going to pop up me OS map when I get down there and see what's available. I was in a bit of trouble trying to find it on my OS map and that was the... Uh, so I thought, oh, I'll step up. I'll just go out there. I know it's got a big park. Walk around. Sorry about the sunlight. But we actually have a sunny day. Apparently, there's going to be no cloud around until later this afternoon. But we've got a yellow... Really read all the sunlight on. We've got a yellow rain warning. I do have my raincoat packed. <laughs> well, I couldn't find the track. I've just been through that bit of bushes there. Uh, fought my way through and brambles and nettles and legs are all scratched now. And, um, there's the football path there. Because there's a children's farm thing over there, animal farm over there, there's no signs for the public paths, and I knew I was on one, but it sort of, sort of went into the, the animal farm thing. And then uh, so it comes out over here, but there's no signs at the other end. And so I've decided to change directions, and I'm going to go this way into those woods. At least this one's signposted. Uh, it's nearly lunchtime, so I'll just get away from It's really busy there, actually. I'm really surprised. Some corn there, or maize don't know. Uh, I'll just get away from here a bit and then I'll stop and have me lunch. Lovely day. Right, this is the style before we get into the wood. I think I'm going to sit on there and at least have my cup of tea. And I'm going to put some insect repellent on. But all these green flies keep attaching themselves to me. But uh, it's hot said uh, 23 degrees when I popped the thermometer on a minute ago, but uh, it's very humid as well. But who can complain for September? Yeah. Well, I needed that cup of tea. It's such a, so warm and sort of a bit stressful trying to find a goddamn track and there's people all over the place. Anyway, I've sat here and had my cup of tea and pork rinds and uh, feeling rejuvenated. Now into the woods I go. Ooh. Oh, it's a goddamn hill. One thing's for sure, when I'm walking along these roads with no footpath, I'm so glad I have a bright orange backpack. I'll just flick it around, you can see my straps anyway. Yeah, first I thought, when I thought, well, I've got, I like orange. Anyway, and I like purple. Two colours that clash. <laughs> um, there's a ray of backpacks with colours when I bought this. I only got it cheap on eBay. And uh, so I obviously gravitated to my one of my favourite colours. Feeling a bit self-conscious about it because it's quite bright. But uh, not anymore. I'm uh, very pleased. Very hazy. I'll have to do the temperature again. And it's hot and it's sticky. Right, back off the road again onto a public bridleway. I don't know if you can see that because of the sun. But anyway, it goes this way. Right, 
my, those are the woods I went through before, so I'm going back, I'm going to go down here and back into the woods, but uh, not the same track, and uh, come out further down and go into, back into Cannon Hall, and there's a big loop. Apart from the views, good. These paths are boring, almost bracken and on the long sides. It's damn hot though. It is very hot. I keep walking into bloody spider webs as well. Obviously these paths aren't used that often during the week. Well all I can say is I shall be glad to hit the shade of those woods soon. It is unbelievably hot. A rough track this one. Should get to the woods soon. Finally some shade back into Deffer Wood. Just come out of that field. Scorchio. A little stone here. <clears throat> I think I shall stop and have another cup of tea before I carry on because it's actually quite warm. Been getting some serious thought to next summer doing the um, Camino de Santiago walk uh, rather than the coast to coast. Mainly because I think one thing it'll be warm, and uh, from what I've uh, researched so far, the accommodation is quite cheap and. Um, well, it is a very long walk, but the coast to coast is going to cost a lot of money to do. Uh, whereas I could probably, even though I'll probably if I did it over 18 days, I'll be having to stay in a lot of B&Bs, which are quite expensive. And uh, the weather will be unpredictable. But at least in Spain, it'll be um, warm, even if it is the odd rain. And uh, very cheap. And a uh, 30 day walk would cost probably the same as doing an 18 day walk on the coast to coast. And uh, so I'm thinking about doing that. But I just thought I'd, what brought my mind to it was actually this uh, heat and the sun. I'm thinking I definitely have to take a wide brim hat. Probably take the one I bought in Disney. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a good hat actually. Uh, so, uh, cost enough, but uh, I like it. Yeah, so, lots of walks to do, lots of planning. Got to get this Dale's walk booked. I've sort of planned planned the stops. Just need to I'll make sure I can get accommodation. And I think we'll do a luggage service, so we're not having to carry big backpacks. Since it's the first time we're going to be doing a long distance walk, so to speak. At least 10, 11 miles every day. And um, so I think I'll get a luggage service for that one. Uh, just because we need sleeping bags as well. Um, so that will take up a lot of space. And a little bit of extra weight. And uh, we can have some comfort when we get to our stops. Because you're not going to take yeah, too much stuff if you're carrying it. We'll put it in the suitcase. We just need one suitcase between the two of us. And uh, we shall have some fun, hopefully, as long as it doesn't rain all the time while we're on the rock walk. It'll be, uh, it'll be coolish, but end of October it shouldn't be too cold. So it should be alright. Anyway, I'm enjoying today's walk even with the heat. It's nice to get out of... I'm only about 20 miles from home, I think. But it's nice to get out of the local vicinity and do something different. I've never walked around here before. Never had my route planned. I just uh, got here and then looked at where the paths were. So it's walked out so far. Got 
So far, so good. Right, this is someone's driveway. It's also got a sign, public bridal way. So I've actually got to walk into someone's property. <laughs> oh God, I hate doing this. Well, the sun here when he was little, it used to be a corn maze. I've got, done it, got sunflowers on at the moment. Well, it was a real maze. You couldn't see over the top of the corn. It was amazing. Oh. You get little flags to carry with you. <laughs> Quiet as now. I'm sure that's the one we came to. There might be another one. It was many years ago. Probably about oh nine or ten years ago, I think. Well, that was a nice day. Um, nothing too steep. Terrain's a bit rough. Um, very hot, as you can see. I'm all quite clammy and sweaty. Find me car keys and open the window. And um, that was better. That was a nice change. It's very hot and muggy today. My glass is crooked. Uh, go home have a nice shower. And uh, yeah, so really nice, nice change anyway. And then walking up and down the canal continuously. I mean, I don't mind doing that, but get the opportunity today because my son doesn't do college on Tuesdays. So I can go out and not worry about getting back in time for him, for the time being. And uh, so it was nice, Cannon Hall was okay. Um, I didn't go in the hall itself obviously, but the park is nice. Come back up here and had a cup of tea and a naughty ice cream. And sat on a picnic bench for nearly an hour and did some tweeting. And that was about it. So that's my Cannon Hall walk.